Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Peloponnesian League playthrough, where things are going better. We have another invention, thankfully, finally. Um, mm, I'm actually going to go for the supply limit, just... Oh, that's always very good. No, I'm going to go for the supply limit there, just in case we end up having to uh, campaign in the north. We are on our way to Rebellion, but that should be broken off as my stability goes back up. Got some Pretender support, not a huge amount, so I'm not overly worried about that. We have one disloyal province there, apparently. Uh, and some disloyal characters. You are in charge of my navy, so there really isn't much I can do about him, annoyingly. Um, he's also slowly dying, so that's not a huge problem. Ah, Moria is whole again? Of oh, Magda, Magda Empire. So Moria's changed its name. Wow. Um, so we're going to kind of use Rome as my buffer there. Uh, these guys could do with being brought into the fold as a buffer. Uh... Hmm. Because they're simply in that last bit of the Alps, which isn't controlled by small Roman settlements. <laughs> Not that these small Roman settlements would stop anything coming through. Um, I'm not overly worried. We don't need a huge military force here to defend, basically. Um, there we go. That's better. And we're about to do this, aren't we? As soon as I hit 30 stability, we're going to nom them up. I'll do a bit more road building as well. Um. Ooh, somebody else has died. Right now, we're not necessarily looking to expand massively. Um, I need to consider my options. This one's come back again. See, I have to push all the way along there. You know what? I am going to use this t as an excuse to push north. Wow, my uh, leader needs more charisma. Oh, wow! Okay! That should be fixable. Characters, show families. You. I don't want to grant him a holding. It is potentially making them worse later on, but because it's giving them a bigger power base, but at the same time, you know what? I, I need to do a bit of um, because these will all help increase my power base as well. Oh yeah, all the capitals to us, I think, is a very good thing. Lots of corruption, however. Right, 
let's look at the families. Because we have the lowest prestige, which is quite bad. Uh, some Ilya kids. If I can replace some of those, I can't at the moment because of my stability. But if I can replace some of those potentially with some of us. There we go. Making myself have a bigger family in general is probably quite a good thing. Will long run really help us? So he is already. Oh no, he's part of the other family. Hmm. That is slowly going to drop off, but there's only so much I can do. No real laws, which will help here. I say that, my culture is spreading beautifully through there. So the places where it's going to be hard are in the north, where we've got a different religion as well. Rome is... Oh, Rome is spreading her religion, her, her culture quite nicely, but her religion, religion not so much. It's fine, we can deal with that. And now it is time for this small war. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not particularly worried by any of them. Okay, I'm not quite sure why they're involved in it, but... I'm eight nom into their territory a bit because they are a Hellenic and as I said long run basically I want to take all of the oh god I mean literally that is the only place on my coast how big is the Silicon Navy not the Selected Navy can get to me. Easily. It can get to me, but it's a hell of a, a hell of a fight. Fight. We can sail up there and start stealing ports. This is going to be an interesting one. one of you to here. You're going to march to there. That's fine. Here is fine. We're fine there. This is scary because the Selicids are powerful. And they don't really border me, so it's, it's a bit odd. him out of there. Putting her in charge and adopting her. Basically, <laughs> oh, what a time for a barbarian force to come in. Whoa! 
That is not a small barbarian force. I'm not overly worried about the Selicid Navy because to get here, they have to go a massive route around. So they're probably going to take a while before they even vaguely get here. Uh, 44 before I can start integrating them. I love that Veneto has troops here as well as um, our Macedonian friends. Should be able to send troops in here. I love the fact I've got a little war there. Honestly, not even vaguely worried here. Uh, we will bring all their families in. There we go. I've definitely got imports I can do here. Cloth, please. More cloth. More tax rate. Hmm. Check the important ones. We've got that one. I've lost that one, so I'd like some more base metals. Why do I not have that one? Why did that not come up? Okay, let's have another one to give me a... Uh, make sure I've got that. Get rid of that fortification at least. Would like a fortification here. Just in case they get through it, it, it makes it a little harder for them to get through. Okay, so this is a war I didn't want, but I can soak. We're going to sail into here to start with. We're just going to batter their ports. Uh, potentially going to bring both armies around and move them over here. Use our manpower. We always use our manpower there. You can come back here, to be fair. I don't need you. This war is already over. Oh god, let's slow time down. Ooh, well, they snuck in. And she has no fortification anymore. You're going to march up there. I'm not necessarily going to drop these guys straight in, but... He doesn't have access through Egypt, so... Hmm. Sinope is at war with me as well. But they have access through Pontus, don't they? Sinope has access through Pontus, but no one else, so... Fabricate a claim on her yet. How 
However, I would like to take some of them. Basically, I'm just going to kind of consolidate a bit there. Take here next. <laughs> we need the oratory for a lot of this, which we just don't have. I mean, a few more walls than I wanted, though. Let's be honest, they're not even vaguely worrying walls. Uh, no, you are going to come down this way, simply so I could free up one of my other forces. We've got loads of fortifications around here, so even if they break through into the uh, more barbarian he lands up there, it's not a huge, a huge worry. You're going to start pushing up there. And the troops as we already effectively dealt with that fortification you're gonna sail on and hit these ports while they're doing that I did kind of just slave raid I oh, know it is the silicates there and it's a little annoying but again we can deal with that we're easily willing all our fights over there. Independent. Oh, not you. Independent operations for that little Merc force there, whose job is just going to be to reeve in that territory. I'm going to move back here and deal with that fortification. Then we're going to go pick up our other army. And get a nice beachhead in here along the Black Sea coast. Of course it's a Hellenid. Need to keep them relatively on side for now. You're going to sail around there, and then we're going to do the same. We're going to throw another uh, fun little bit of territory together. They have kind of broken through there, but my allies are already uh, moving in to deal with that. No! You shouldn't have gone to war with me, guys, basically. I'm not so bothered about them, if I'm honest. So actually, yeah, I will white piece with them. Can I? For now. You can push straight in there. I'm easily going to batter that army back. That gets rid of that entire front. Wait, 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 whoa! There was not colonized for some reason. Let's 
certainly on the lower part of their empire. The, uh, it would have been Hellenic originally part of their empire. Yeah. Him, and then we Oh, I, I can't adopt him. Never mind. Then be independent. Oh, if I, I, ideally, if I can take this entire coastline, let's turn and smash them. You know, if I can take this coastline and a little bit in from it, so all of these regions along the coast. To be fair, they're only small regions. That would be kind of the best outcome here, though I'm, I will accept a uh, lesser outcome if needs be. Over here, these guys are going to get obliterated. As I slowly bring the Hellenics in. I don't care about my mercenary army. It's on auto. It can do whatever, it, whatever the hell it wants. This is our first joust with the Hellenics. Egypt is still more of a worry because we border with her. It would be a much tougher war there. Whereas here, I mean... The Selekids do not seem to have been in a position for this war at all, so actually that really helped us. No, you can stay on independent operations. There we go. Let's make sure the Selekids are shown the might of Sparta, guys. Even before our reinforcements get here. Okay, the Selekids are beginning to bring the forces here. You can go up there to capture that to actually get food. You can march down there to try and deal with them. That is a big-ish force there, so I do want to be a bit careful, but I'm not, again, not overly worried about fighting these barbarians. Maybe I should be, but... Amusingly, I seem to have more forces over here to deal with the barbarians than I do to deal with anybody else, so... Oh, they're just throwing themselves at me one after the other, which is the perfect way for this to happen. Get your butts there as well, please. Okay, they are beginning to... Uh... Show a bit more threat there. Mm. 
That said, we are winning against the uh, lesser forces of the Selekids. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll take the popularity, please. straight onto their capital now. Move straight in and take that one. This is over. Reputation seems nice. Let him roam. Seems to give us the best buffs, basically. We may need some reinforcements in here. Uh, no, we, we're beating them. Those silicates, they're elephants, thinking that they uh, had a chance. Throwing a hell of a lot of lot at us here, that is the real danger. Basically, I need there to fall before I can consider getting anything done. I might even just bring one in as a client state if I get the option. <sighs> Trying to throw more towards my family to keep my to get my power base up a bit. Yeah. 
this whole thing is now basically over. This war is just annoying. I'm completely honest, I don't I'm not a fan of I'm not enjoying this war. <laughs> But if it gives me a chance to gain some coastal territories, that is good. I wasn't planning on going this way, but as we're now being forced to, we'll go this way. Wow, we are um, getting a little low on troops there, guys. I may need to send a relief force in there. You can march up to there. Nice. So we're sending a relief force into there. Ugh, goddamn governors keep goddamn dying. Okay, they can have one. That is what I want, and it's not actually hugely difficult for us. Uh, yes, please. Because income is not an issue at the moment. That wrong culture happiness is actually really important for us just now. These guys are mostly... Well, a mixture of Linux, which will help in bringing them in. You are going to be pulled home. You can head up into Rome, actually. Now it's over. As soon as that place falls, I'm going to bring an end to that one. One of you to march in there. Start nomming up that territory there. It's not going to be long before they'll accept. <laughs> oh, that would be a bit, bit over the top. I don't need to do that. I can soak free aggressive expansion, and I'm going to take there as well. No, I don't want to, because they are not, not Hellenics up there, so I'm trying to bring the Hellenics in. Banish them! There we go! I know he's not as good, but I uh, know I don't need more now. Are they Hellenics? They are partly Hellenics. Uh, 
Oh, the Hellenic ones are the abandoned ones, though, so... Oh, that's what we wanted! And now the Pel Peloponnese League is written large across the world. <laughs> it's partly why I did this war, because that's a much better look for our name than having two separate ones. These two little guys here must be absolutely terrified at this point. And they have quite a good reason to be, to be fair, because let's be honest, they are going to get nommed up very, very quickly. Oh. Because they are right in the middle of my territory. I said there's a few more bits of Hellenic territory I want to take along here. Most of it... Is these areas so I think I am going to have a war with Frace sometime soon I want to get some claims on Frace but my main purpose with war of Frace is going to be to vassalize her and potentially these guys as well we're just gonna have a few wars to vassalize the northern reaches They would literally give me the coastline. Which is kind of what I wanted. Does make it very vulnerable, but... I'm going to hold on for a little bit longer if I can. Nope, let's bring it to an end. So we uh, battered the Selekids back a bit. Oh, we found one of these. There we go. Oh, we got all the ports we needed. <laughs> hmm. Oh. But let's be honest, guys, that's not going to be difficult. Let's uh, drop my mercs. One army is going to stay here. One army is going to be taken home. Well, over to here at least. So having said, I'm not going for this one. Uh, we're now going for this one. Owns a black sea port which fulfills the following. Is a city. Has a dominant Hellenic group. Civilization value of 40. Surprise, some of these don't. And what is their civilization value? Where does it tell me their civilization? So, civilization value is 58. They are not dominantly Hellenic, though. Uh, 
What were the other things? Has at least 20 pops. Ratio of slaves is less than 33, and ratio of tribesmen is less than 33. Has a marketplace. Oh, it, it can't be that port. That's annoying. This one also counts as one of the options. Ah, oh, the slave ratio is terrible. That will fix itself over time, however. Making people happier will bring people in faster too. You can only move slaves, can't you? We'll get there with that one. That one will just take time. Anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave it now that the Peloponnesian League is writ large across the world. That is a thing of beauty. Uh, I can't believe the Selikids went towards me. I can't believe they went towards me without... If they'd had their armies in place at the start of the war, but I don't see how they were ever planning on getting to me, if I'm honest. Um, anyway, as always, thank you for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments in the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. Thank you very much for watching, guys.